This is SOLIDWORKS Tutorial 3.2. In this lesson, we're going to talk about using the Sweep tool. Let's start by talking a little bit about sketches. Okay, we're going to make a sketch on the top plane, and we're going to use the Line tool. Usually when we use the Line tool, it continues making lines until we click Escape or we exit the tool. Another thing that it does so I'll delete this to show you something else, is when we make a line, say a vertical line, and then we come and kind of hold our mouse button over without, or mouse over this dot without clicking again yet, and we pull back up, it makes a curved line instead of a straight line. That's kind of a shortcut that SOLIDWORKS has put in to make curved lines when you're in the middle of the line tool. We wanted to do that because we want to have a bent pipe path. So when we make a sweep, we need a path and a profile. This right here is the path. This is the path that our cross section is going to sweep across. You'll see that as we go along. But let's fully define this sketch by putting in some dimensions. So we're going to make this vertical part 3. You can see as we fully define this sketch, other things that are blue shift to make it fit and the things that are black will now stay in place. So the more dimensions that we put on, the more defined our sketch is. We're going to have this radius be 2 inches, and we're going to have this be 3. Okay, when you have diagonal lines, you can define a dimension by the Y component, by the X component, or by the hypotenuse. In this case, we want the hypotenuse. We want that to be 3 as well. Okay, that last line is not fully defined because it needs to know one more thing. If we're not sure what it needs, then we can click on one of these blue dots and kind of see where it's not restricted. That angle is not restricted. Also, we want to put a tangent relationship between this line and this curve. So go ahead and make sure that tangent is in there so that when we're moving it around then it stays tangent to it. It wasn't doing that before. Alright, and we want a smart dimension to make an angle between that vertical line and this diagonal line. And we want that angle to be 60 degrees. So we'll go ahead and accept that dimension and exit the sketch. Okay, so now that we have this path, we want to draw the cross section that will be swept along this path. So let's go to an isometric view. You can kind of see that we drew that on the top plane, so it's laying flat there. At one of the ends, we want to draw the profile. So we're going to start a new sketch, and it's asking us for a plane. We're going to pick the plane that intersects the end. It's a good thing that we put our origin down here at this point here, because that matches up nicely with our front plane. So we're going to draw on our front plane, line ourselves up, and we can see that path in the background. We're just going to do a simple circle, starting at that origin, and dimension it to be 0.5 inches. All right, so put in 0.5, enter, and accept the dimension. And this sketch is fully defined in black, and we can go ahead and exit it. Okay, so now we can see that we have our path and a cross section at the end, and these are all done in two sketches. These are named 3 and 4 because I've done two sketches before. All right, so we'll go to the Features tab, and we'll select the Swept Boss Base Tool. And in our Property Manager, it has different fields. This top one is the Profile. This next one is the Path. So let's go ahead and pick the Profile, put that in there, and then the Path is this line here. So you can see the preview, it will sweep that circle all the way around, curve the corner, and go along that pipe. Pretty cool tool. All right, so we'll go ahead and accept that, and we've got our sweep in our design tree. All right, let's quickly cover another tool. Another new tool is called the Shell Tool. When we click on this, it says, removes material from a solid body to create a thin-walled feature. In the Property Manager, it's asking for faces to remove and a thickness. Let's put in a thickness and see what it does. Let's put in 0 0.05 for the thickness and not put anything in the faces to remove option. So when we do that, we 
notice that it doesn't show anything on the outside, but if we do this section view here, then we can take this plane and go through our part. You'll actually see that dark blue means that it's solid material, and then you can see that this tube is hollow. So that shell tool made the whole thing hollow to that thickness. And it's totally enclosed because we gave it no faces to remove. So this section tool is kind of helpful to see what's inside our part if we don't know. So let's go ahead and click X because we don't want to keep that. And let's go and edit our shell tool. And we're going to actually in enter in a face to remove. We're going to click on this face here. And we're going to click on this face here. You can click on as many faces as you want. And show preview. Let's see what that does. So it kind of shows us a preview with those yellow circles, how thick it's going to be in, in certain places. And we'll go ahead and accept the shell. All right, now we can see that it's open to the outside, just like a pipe, all the way through. So that's a pretty cool thing for the shell tool. All right, let's say that we didn't use the shell tool. So let's move our time back. Let's go back in the sweep tool and in this cross section here. So we could actually have done it a different way. If we modify this sketch, we can make another circle inside and dimension it to the certain thickness, maybe a distance between the two, and we'll make that 0 0.05. And we'll go ahead and exit the sketch. And that does the same thing. We haven't used the shell tool because we've gone back in time, but we've done the same thing with the the cross-sectional sketch for our sweep. So you can see there's two different ways to do that here, and you've got to decide which one's the best. And that's the sweep tool.